This episode is sponsored by Autodesk Fusion 360. My latest passion and obsession outside the workshop has been training dogs for dog sports. And as a result, I bought a van to carry around our dogs and all the equipment that we need for doing this stuff. Lately, the dogs have been driving around in this crate, which is made for a car, but the dogs could really do with more space and maybe we could do with more dogs. It's really important that in the vehicle, the dogs are secure in strong cages or crates in case of a crash. My plan is to make a four kennel cage that takes up the lower half of the area of the van with the rear back two being removable. But this sketch is awful. And today's episode is sponsored by Fusion 360. And it's because of Fusion 360 that we were able to plan out this. I built this using Fusion 360 parameters. We can see the van area we're working with. It's all built for a tube diameter of 20 millimeters. And would you believe it? That's just what we've got in the rack. We're gonna start by building our rear double cages. So quick recap of what we're doing. We're making the front double cages. The back two are gonna be removable. And what I just tacked up is the top and bottom frames for it. Testing that with the dogs, they fit. I'm trying to be cognizant while I do this to not over weld for a couple of reasons. One, the more weld I put in, the more it's all gonna warp. Even just welding this together, you'd think it's not gonna warp a whole lot, but it's gonna give this a bow potentially, make it all funky. And because our next step is throwing a load of columns on here, there's gonna be a bunch more weld going around anyway. So why weld more than needed? And so right now I've gotta work out how I get my nine columns in place and stood up straight and square. Right, so how it's looking right now, we're starting to have our door openings meant to be a little bit more central, meant to be 550 millimeters according to the drawing. It's 550 here. We're gonna make a door that goes inside this frame with just five millimeters of clearance. Gonna miter it together out of the same tube and then we get to tackle putting hinges on and installing a lock, which is gonna be really interesting because I don't think I've ever made a hinged steel welded door or install the lock. So let's take a pause to talk more about today's sponsor, Autodesk Fusion 360. It's a cloud-based 3D modeling CAD CAM CAE and PCB software for the entire width and breadth of product design and manufacturing. I love that despite the massive functionality of the software, it's simple, easy, and efficient to use even for a simple user like mine making this frame, wanting to make the most of parameters to be able to adjust the sizing as I need to. But the full scope of the software is incredible because you now don't need multiple tools to design and manufacture. You can do it all in Fusion. Whether you're doing additive manufacturing like 3D printing, two axis, three axis, or five axis milling, you can do it all in this product. And thanks to their cloud-based collaboration and data management, you can communicate with team members to get the design where you need it. It is incredibly inexpensive for what the product is, even more so when you click my link in the description down below because you're gonna get a one month free trial, which is awesome. You'll support the show too. So get in there, see how cool Fusion 360 is, see what you can build. Let's get back into the video. We've got two doors and they're gonna go something like this. So the door is of course no good without a hinge and a lock. 
So let's talk about it. I did some hunting to find some locks online, and this is what I found. So while I was waiting for this to arrive, I hopped onto Fusion 360, made a file, and sent it off to a laser cutter based off of the drawings that were available online for the lock. And so thank goodness it fits in. And as a result, out of this two millimeter sheet, we have our, what we're calling a lock plate. So this is going to somehow interact with this bar right here. This is the movable door bar, this is the fixed one. We'll end up cutting a hole in this for that to clip into it. It looks like it might be a bit flimsy. Do you reckon that'll be stronger? So I tacked on a little bar underneath it to give it a little bit more strength. It feels more rigid. We've got the thing centered up in the frame how we want it. It's now on to installing the hinges. Now I did look up a YouTube video on this and it kind of looked like he had these things set up about like that maybe. Whoa! It hinges rather nicely too, dare I say. Oh! Right, let's weld these hinges. Now we need to make the hole that this lock is gonna catch into. So we'll drill it and die grind it. <laughs> no! I made a door! Check this out, Jamie. One, two functional doors. Let's go. So now what we've got to do is we have our mesh. We've got plenty more of it. We've also got trailer decking here. We've got to work out where we put the mesh, how we weld it on, and where we put the trailer decking, and how we put that on too. So a big topic between Jamie and I has been how do we put the weld mesh on? Jamie voted for this flush option here where it is just into the inside corner and it doesn't stick out on top. I was voting for having it overlap halfway along this bar and welding it fully onto the outside surface. The concern is, is that little teeny weeny tack welds holding weld mesh onto this bar isn't gonna give us the strength that we need. So we've made a little test piece in order to either get extra more scared or assuage our fears. That's actually brilliant news. The weld mesh is breaking before our welds are breaking. I'm actually feeling very happy about that. Should be strong enough. thought long and hard about what our divider would be made out of. Would it be made out of the weld mesh? Would it be made out of the trailer decking? Or would we make it out of sheet steel? I decided the lightest thing is gonna be the sheet steel and it means that we can install it with rivets. 12 rivets in, the rivet gun is already completely broken. It's the next morning after that last clip, I had Jamie hop on the interwebs so that we could order this bad boy. So part of what was going through my head when I chose steel is I thought it would be lighter than the wood. The trouble is, is I've just installed this panel and have a listen. It's got a pretty decent little rattle to it. And so I don't know what I'm doing. Do I go with steel? Do I go with wood? I don't know. Wood is dull and boring. Wood, who cares about wood? 
They're almost identical in weight. All right, let's take it for a test drive, see how loud it is. Oh, gosh, that's loud. <laughs> Right, I don't think we need to go any further. <laughs> We're gonna rip it out and put wood in. Right, it's now a new week and my voice is gone because I just became a certified BSA decoy. Getting bit by dogs over the weekend and we did get the opportunity to test the crate in the van and it worked brilliantly. We're gonna make the whole thing look as neat and professional as this door. Jamie did a fabulous job of priming and spray painting this. So we're gonna do that to the entire thing minus the boards. Well guys, we've done it. Look, we've got these crates. The other two, we don't need them for a while and it's just making crates. So you've seen me do it once. You don't need to see me do that again. I'll do it on my own time. Thank you for watching. And maybe you can just <whistles> open the door, please, Jamie. Just <whistles> I'll let you out once you finish. Thank you to Autodesk Fusion 360 for sponsoring this. Check them out at the link down below. And thank you to Yogo and Crazy for being the best pups on planet Earth. Bye-bye. Right, see you later, Alan. How's it going everybody, it's Sam. I just wanted to let you know we still have these cleaver kits available at the website. And follow along with the tutorial video on Alex Steel Co. It was a lot of fun to make this and you can have a lot of fun making one yourself. So go ahead and check them out. Stay safe, happy forging, bye bye.